two are deep for the Crusaders. There will be no return from Ayer Asante. Dagenhart to throw. Coleman there to pressure. Dumps it to Cozier. Nowhere to go. Slipped out of one and will get banged out of bounds into the Crusaders bench. Play fake by DeVito. He'll cut it loose, and the first catch of the day belongs to Taj Harris. That's 15 straight games. Or, beg your pardon, that's Tristan Jackson, 86, not 80. Cross struggling to get lined up with Syracuse Tempo. Sure are. DeVito, quick throw. This is Jackson again. And Tristan Jackson breaks tackles inside the 20. That's the play, the full play. You know, Babers loves it. Here's DeVito, looks out in the flat. This is Hackett, the tight end for the touchdown. Three scores and a game and change for Aaron Hackett. Double pass last week, call one on the back line. Strides in for the opening score. That's the backup at tight end in motion, and here's Dagenhart looking to throw for Ianni. Slot uncovered at the bottom of your screen. DeVito getting up in the pocket, and that's a stop for the Crusaders. Kuznetsov, the uh, defensive end, and has got to feel pretty good, too, with a three and out of an explosive orange offense. Hoffrichter, one of the best weapons in college football. Hammers this at John John Roberts. Roberts fumbled the ball. And the orange recovers. Evan Foster, I think, fell on it after a 50-yard punt. Such a good job catching this punt, making the first man miss, which is what you're supposed to do. Then you just got to protect it. I think that's the long snapper that ends up punching it out. Yep, Bolinski. Great job by him, by Aaron Bolinski, getting downfield, creating the turnover. And hey, pretty good list, by the way. DeVito, slant route, Tristan Jackson, the touchdown. Put another one on the board for 86 and the orange. With big numbers in the receiving yardage st standpoint as well. Dagan Hart's got the freshman Forrest at the running back spot. Shoots it inside. Ianni the catch. Nice play by Tenio Ianni. That's Asante in motion. Quick throw, and the catch is made. Ayer Asante. And picks up just enough for the first down. Oliver will get the carry nowhere. Kendall Coleman took him out of the air. At the top on the defensive end. Holy Cross one of five on fourth down this year. Dagenhard overshoots the intended receiver Asante. They give it away on downs. Plus defense a little bit better so far. Quick throw, this is Jackson. First down and more. Pushed out just over the midfield line by Walter Reynolds. Team all ACC quarterback yeah. in the conference. Yep. Newman is off to a fantastic start. They got their hands full today as DeVito scrambles out. First down for Tommy DeVito. Down to the 37 of the Crusaders. Tommy DeVito, he draws back the pass, feels the pressure, steps up, climbs in the pocket, and then just maneuvers his way, finds a crease. Been all over the place so far in this game. Third down for the Orange. DeVito being flushed. Throws it away. Neal was the... Kick away. And it's good. With plenty behind it. Hunter in for the long field goes and from the right hash. Absolutely drills it. I, I, Wes, that thing might be good. Three receivers in the tight end now for Dagenhart. Going to take the shot, and what a catch going out of bounds at midfield by Ianni. When you have games like this, you need guys, individual players, to step up and play well, not be afraid of the lights, and Ianni early seems like that guy. Hunter Dagenhart, 5 of 10, 51 yards. And that is caught. Dominic Thomas. Quarterback's going to need some help. He gets some help from his offensive line, holding up well. They... Double Robinson on the right side of the screen, and then a really good catch there. Did he catch it by Dominic Thomas? 
Three receivers in the tight end here, Roddy. Nope. Not this time. Dagenhart taken down at the 31. With four, you don't have to bring any other blitzes. There you see, when you're able to drop seven as well, it takes away some of the... It was 34 last year at, uh, last week at Yale, rather. From the middle of the field. And Holy Cross on the board. And get this Holy Cross defense back on their heels. Chris Elmore in the backfield, first carry of the day. No play fake to Abdul Adams. And there's Taj Harris inside. Spinning away, Harris still on his feet. And to the 35 of Holy Cross. Would have just run, rather run the play with their tempo. DeVito will go right behind Dakota Davis at the right guard spot. That's enough for the first down. He is very tough on that wide receiver group. Abdul Adams. And he'll be brought down by Bucciaroni. Interesting to see. you got single coverage to the top of your screen. 3 of 11 on fourth down. Here's Adams at the 5. Touchdown. I think they got a good situation at running back, Roddy. Abdul Adams cashes in from 19 out on a fourth down play. Orange now lead 24 to 3. In 32 years, but what a legend. And Dagenhart cannot get away from the rush of Brandon Berry out of Griffin, Georgia. This time Syracuse decides to bring pressure off that right side. And you get a couple of guys getting in the backfield. And we saw it maybe pay off for DeVito last week against Western Michigan. Early here today certainly is a good return as well. And here's Adams out of the backfield. He'll get knocked down behind the line. It'll be a loss of two on the throw as Lang hits him. Extremely important that they're efficient all this week in practice, getting better as the bye week approaches, that they can really hit the ACC schedule with their stride. Crusaders show blitz. DeVito threw a ball that Dino Babers caught, and then a flag has been thrown. This guy is a weapon, Roddy. Look at this one. Fair catch in the 13. You're lucky it doesn't burn up on reentry. Third long. These guys want to rush the passer, I'm telling you. Dagan Hart with Coleman trailing him. And he got crushed by Tyrell Richards. So the drive is alive on the third down penalty for targeting. Dagan Hart to Gilliam. And he got planted by Trill Williams. And a flag has been thrown there. Here's a third down play. And overthrows Mountain, the tight end. First time we've seen Dagenhart target Derek Mountain. And we, we understand all the fans, they want to see better flow of the game. And it hurts the flow of the game. But this game is getting safer for all the players. Riley did not signal for the fair catch and will push it back to the 22 before Holy Cross is able to stymie the return. More to be had on that on that play. Here's another give. Neal will have the first down toward the 35. Then rushing yardage, just shy of 300. DeVito going to flip it to Neal again, this time on the right side. And Chris Riley, another one of the three safeties in Bob Chesney's secondary. Tommy DeVito's had a hard time finding open receivers. Third and long now. DeVito to his right, and he gets pressured. Thomas Kiesling. Old rival of my high school, Elder High School in Cincinnati. A lot of great football players coming out of there. Luke Keekley's out of St. X. And, and Rocky Boyman, who's a Time part out. of our network. Holy Cross. One minute, 23 seconds on the clock. Looks like he's going to try for some sort of two-minute offense to get some points. Hoffrichter skies it and John John Roberts, who got surrounded by Navy shirts. Third down for Dagenhart. And it's Gilliam trying to get to the out-of-bounds line and does with the first down at the 45, running away from Trill Williams. So we'll see if he's able to come back. Oliver, nowhere. And Dino Babers want to stop this clock, along with Marquenzi Pierre. And Riley, who is 
Seventh in the ACC at about 18 yards of return. Headed to the far side. And brought down at the 33. And Eric, that's where Tommy DeVito and the Orange get cranked up. Tommy DeVito to get this thing rolling with the tempo and with completing passes. Here's DeVito shooting it for Taj Harris. Makes the catch going out of bounds at the 47. Well, as long as it's consistent. Third down and about seven for DeVito. To his right, he rides. Riley there. Did he catch it? No, incomplete right in front of our location here. This is to go with the football and corralling Tommy DeVito. Third straight punt for Hoffrichter. And he will flip it over to Roberts at the 11. And that's where the Crusaders get going. Perwitz, the second tight end in motion. They hand to Oliver, and that goes nowhere. Armstrong, senior from Youngstown, Ohio. Oh, right there at the line of scrimmage, Joaquin Williams just absolutely dominated. Third down. Dagenhart loads, throws, and deflected. Lakeem Williams got a hand on it. Making an interception. I think he just scored it had he, had he been able to rein it in. Wilkinson, the putter, this is his best of the day by a long shot. Riley, the fair catch, 39-yard line is where the orange take over. 210 pounds of Abdul Adams coming downhill at you. You feel it when that contact happens. Yep. DeVito, quick throw, and this is Nikeem Johnson, first down. Holy Cross, 44-yard line. Abdul Adams are one of these slot receivers run. DeVito will throw on third and one. Sails it way offline for Tristan Jackson. I see. Now, you know, it, it, things could change. You know, they are coming around uh, on offense a little bit more the last week. This week is not as pretty. He scored difference at the dome. Riley backed up here by Wilkinson, whose last two have been his best of the day. And now Riley splits the difference. Riley at the 35 and brought down about the 27-yard line. And you know how Coach Nehemiah Talola and the, the mids run at you. Here's DeVito out in the flat, hacking another catch. He's already got a touchdown today, and now he's converted a third down for a first down. <laughs> How about Bo Neal on a dive? And he got knocked back. I'm not sure he got there, so fourth down. Hughes, they have third and two from the seven-yard line. They run a dive up the middle against an 